When you open your glove box, typically this should happen. Nice and slow, right? It does that because, because there is a damper. However, what happens if somehow, for whatever reason, your damper, your damping mechanism is disconnected? And I'm trying to remove the glove box right now. Okay, pulled it up. There you go. Okay, it kind of removed itself. This is your damping mechanism over here. This string, that's your damper. It attaches to this part over here, this part of your glove box. So right now, what I'm going to do is reinstall the glove box and then see what it does when you don't have a damper attached. Bingo! I think I got it reinstalled. So let's shut it. Let's open it. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't have a functioning damper for your glove box. So I'll be making a video in the near future and this is going to be helping somebody who had a damper issue. His string actually got damaged. So I'm, I'm giving away some parts, but it was a matter of, it's not one of those really intuitive things to do. I mean, I understand that. So I was gonna record a video and tell him, hey, this is how you use this free part that I'm giving you. All right, I think it's gonna be an interesting one. I don't know how many people have glove box issues. I've never really had any, any issues with any of the M's that I've owned, but I figured it would be nice to share. All right, cool. Coming right up right now. Hello. Making this video for the governator. <laughs> Gav, um, you have an issue whereby your glove box damper, this string over here, is broken. And from the pictures you sent, at first I was curious if maybe you were trying to pull this string and, you know, using pliers or something and ended up damaging it. But from what I saw, that's not the case. On the back side of this uh, part, the string is basically tied all the way down here. There's a spring mechanism and the strings at the bottom of it. From what I could see, your string somehow detached from the bottom. Cool, it's all good. So, I know you said you were not very comfortable or you were just curious, what, what does it take to replace a damper? And um, so the glove box usually goes here. That's why you have the damper here, and you usually insert the, the longer side of the glove box first, which is usually, is it that side? I can't remember right now. And then hook it over here, and you've said you've already removed the glove box before, numerous times, because you've serviced your in-cabin air filter, which is usually here. So this is what you usually have left. Mine has navigation, or had navigation, that's why you have this, this thing right here. Um, Removal is not too hard. It's just basically eight screws is what takes this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once you remove those, uh, you have like the bottom tray with your puddle lamp. Pull that down, releases from here. And then basically just pull this out because what clips are holding? I guess you have a side, side thing of, as well. Then this one is just locating it. Then dis disconnect, is it two or one? In this case, just one. One uh, connector, this is for the glove box lamp. Then you usually have the switch here, the trunk, remote trunk switch. So you said it's a larger piece, obviously. Uh, I'd say it's probably easier to just take it and replace it, but there's a cheaper way. Because it's so large, shipping it might cost a little bit of money. So the other ways to just replace the damper, the damper itself. This is it. Uh, I, w I wish there was an easy way to do it or very quick way to do it, unfortunately not. Um, over here in the back you have these screws. This part is simple. This part is pretty simple. I was trying to push this collar but it doesn't just push through without breaking something. It's pretty hard over here. So this is what it is. Over here pull this as, as far out as you can, which I did, and then pull this over. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm trying to get closer without blocking the sunlight, so just fit it over. It's a little bit of a dance, but you'll get it. Do you push it down? Yeah, push it down while feeding it over. Man, did I end up using a knife when I did it? This is all I'm trying to do is feed 
this string over this loop over here. Oh, okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Pretty easy, just had to push it over towards the front. So, this is it. And as you can see here, there's a little bit of a, of a, of a hook that catches the string once it's over there. So that's what I would did. And then, just let go of this. I know you're probably scared, but it's limited. It doesn't go too far. And then on the way in, because you have to fit it through this collar here. This is what allows a smooth movement. And that's why I was curious. It shouldn't damage your, your, your string in the first place. Once you have that, once you replace this in your unit, you know, unscrew here, unscrew here, just pull it out. And all you'll do is on the way in, let's get a little, you know, let me get a uh, Phillips head screwdriver for this. I'm back. Since I'll be shipping this cartridge to you, might as well just remove it right now as I speak. Pretty simple over here. I'll put these in the envelope just in case, in the package, just in case you lose one of yours. So this is it. And then, on the way in, all you gotta do is this. Push it down. As long as it feeds here, you're pretty much golden. Perfect. So pull it back to get caught on that hook. Then back. And that's it. Cool. Can you hear that? So yeah, I really have no idea why yours got damaged. It's pretty pretty hardy for what it does. But what I'm gonna do again to make life a little easier is do the part of taking this one, this part out for you, so that you don't have to fight it. All you have to do is put it in once you get it to your once you get it on your glove box area. So what I'm trying to do, push it down, push it forward. Out it goes. So I'll work, um, I will put all these in the package for you and ship them to you loose. And then all you have to do is assemble them. It shouldn't be that bad, as I said. Just some Phillips head screwdrivers and that. And your connector for the glove box light and the one that releases or basically locks and locks your remote trunk mechanism. That should, be, well, yeah, here it should just slide over. Shouldn't be that hard to, to just pull it out if you're up to the task. But I will send you the video before I ship this out. I just know that I was going to ship this out. And if you decide that maybe it's easier to just do the whole thing, so be it. I'll do that. I'll do that as well. All right, cool. Later.